What is up guys, JPR Tech here, and today I'm gonna be talking about a little bug or a little, I don't, I wouldn't call it a bug, maybe it's user error, but just a little trouble that I'm having with MLV and corrupted files. Now we all know that the Canon EOS M and a lot of Canon cameras that can shoot with the Magic Lantern app are amazing. It's just amazing value for the money. You're shooting raw video with little toy cameras like this EOS M. But the fact is that it's just very experimental. It's very buggy. And today we're gonna be talking about one, one of those little bugs that we go through when trying to import files and then all of a sudden it crashes trying to import a corrupted file. So let's head over to my Mac mini, the M1 Mac mini and check it out. All right, before I show you how to fix this problem, let me just show you what happens. Say you're gonna import all the footage that you shot in one day and bam, all of a sudden no video frames were found in so-and-so location. You're trying to cancel, doesn't close, and no matter what you do, it's not gonna close. It just crashes. Even right clicking on the MOV app, quitting, it doesn't work. The only way to close this is to just force quit the application. So head over to force quit and force quit MOV app. So workaround is after opening the MOV app, before you start importing your footage, head over to the files app, you know, your folders, go through every single clip. I know it's tedious, but you gotta go through them and you gotta find the one clip that is just an unusually small size. This one's like three kilobytes, it's really tiny. So this is the corrupted file. Go ahead and delete that. Go through the rest of your files and once you found all your other files being the usual large files, MOV files, because this is after all raw video, then you're all set to go. Go ahead and select all the files that you want to import, import them, and it should go smoothly. After everything is imported in the app, you could do the usual edits that you do. And if you haven't noticed, I do have a video in my channel showing you my workflow using the MLV app. So I encourage you still you to head over to that video after this video is done. But um, yeah, after you take out the crop to file, everything just works as normal as usual. And all you gotta do is just copy all your attributes that you have, your setup, and uh, paste them to all the other files that you have and export. And guys, that's about it. That's the whole how to work around with corrupted files in MLV app. Now, I know it's very tedious, but if you're pretty confident that you, the camera didn't crash on you on site while you were shooting, then you most likely don't have any corrupted files. I don't go through this work around this workflow every time I out, you know, import my files to MLV. I only do it when I kind of suspect that something weird, something straight happened that day at shooting, then I will verify that all my files are good. And this is just on the Mac side, so I don't know about the Windows user side, does MLV crash like this when you're trying to import corrupted files? I would love to know, and your comment might be very helpful to other people out there that have this similar problem in Windows, if that's the case. Regardless, I hope this video was very instructional, very educational for you guys out there. If it did help you out in any way whatsoever, feel free to help back the community, the channel by smashing that like button, sharing the video so other people could get a how-to with the MLB app. Now guys, uh, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe because I will be posting more how-to videos and especially my workflow with DaVinci Resolve using the raw files exported from the MLV app. I can't wait to put that together for you guys. So I'm really grateful for your patience. I know I talked about this on my last video when I was giving you my workflow with through the MLV app, but the DaVinci one is coming up soon. I just keep discovering new ways to edit these raw files and get the best out of them. Now, I encourage you to check out my other videos, the cinematic musical videos that I post in YouTube using the Canon EOS M RAW, and that just shows you how much we could get out of this $100 RAW cinema camera. 
Thank you so much for sticking around to the end of the video. Now, if you want to support me and the channel, I really appreciate those thumbs up. They're really helpful. Comment if you have any questions, post them down in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.